Hello students, let's do estimation and approximation exercise 2C. Page number 20, question 1. So we are having word problems now. Population of a city was 3,54,976 in the year 2014. In the year 2015, it increased by 68,438. So the question is, what was the population at the end of this year, 2015? So 2014, we have a certain number there. In the year 2015, it increased by 68,438. So at the end of this year, what was the population? So let's begin with our statements. Population of a city in the year 2014 is given to us as 3,54,000. 976 it's given to us already this is in the year 2014 in the year 2015 it increased by from this amount the number increased by 68,000 so put it in the right place 68,438 now the question is what was the population at the end of this year so for that we need to add up these two numbers to find the population so let's do this addition 6 plus 8 is 14, carry 1. 7 plus 1 is 8, 9, 10, 11, carry 1. 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 4 is 14, carry 1. 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 8 is 13, carry 1. 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 plus 6 is 12, and we carry again 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. So what do we have here? 4 lakh 23,000. 414 is the population at the end of the year 2015. So let's write that down. 4 lakh 23,414 is the population at the end of the year 2015. Question 2. A is 7,43,000 and B is 8 lakh 100. Which is greater? A or B? And by how much? So there are two parts to the question. First, let's write down what's given to us. So A is 7,43,000. B is 8,100. Now, if we look carefully, we can make out that B is greater than A. How do we see that? Look at the lakhs place. In the lakhs place, in B, we have 8 and in A, we have 7. A is 7 lakh, isn't it? And B is 8 lakh. So B is greater. So we have got the first part of the question, which is greater A or B? B is greater. Now the second part is, and by how much? To find out by how much B is greater than A, we have to subtract. So B is greater than A by subtraction and we'll get the answer. So when you subtract, you have to write the bigger number on top. So that is 8 lakh has to be written first. 8 lakh 100 and 7,43,000. We are going to subtract these two numbers. So let's begin the subtraction. 0 minus 0, 0, 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. Now 0 minus 3, we have to borrow from the previous number. That's also a 0. So we have to borrow from 8. So this becomes 7, 10. Now I'm borrowing. So it becomes 9. Now this is 10. 10 minus 3 is 7 and 9 minus 4 is 5. 7 minus 7 is 0. So what do we have here? 57,100. So B is greater than A by 57,100. Question 3. A notebook has 56 pages. How many pages will 5,326 such notebooks have? So let's begin our statements. Number of pages one notebook has is 56. Then how many uh, books do we have? We have 5,326. So how many pages will this many notebooks have? We have to multiply. So 56 into 5,326. So let's do that multiplication here. 5,326 into 56. 6 6 are 36, carry 3. 6 2s are 12, 13, 14, 15, carry 1. 
Six threes are 18 plus 1 is 19, carry 1. Six fives are 30 plus 1 is 31. Now we start the second step. Five sixes are 30, carry 3. Five twos are 10 plus 3 is 13, carry 1. Five threes are 15 plus 1 is 16, carry 1. Five fives are 25 plus 1 is 26. So now let's add up these two and get a final answer. 6 plus 0 is 6, 5 plus 0 is 5, 9 plus 3 is 12, carry 1, 1, 2 plus 6 is 8, 3 plus 6 is 9, and then we have 2. So here we have 2,98,256. So how many pages will so many notebooks have? 2,98,256 pages. Question 4. A person has 75,000 sheets of paper. Now, if each sheet makes 8 pages of a notebook, how many notebooks of 200 pages can be made using the above sheets? So, let's go carefully step by step. First, number of sheets of paper that are there is 75,000. So, this is the first thing you need to do. Write down everything that's given to you. So, number of sheets of paper. 75,000. Then, number of pages each sheet makes. It's given in the question, each sheet makes 8 pages. So, you take one sheet, you get 8 pages and there are 75,000 sheets. So, total number of pages that can be made out of this. And that is 75,000 into 8. So, when you multiply these two, you can find the total number of pages. So, let's do that multiplication. 75,000 into 8. So, 0, 0, 0. 8 fives are 40, carry 4. 8 sevens are 56, plus 4 is 60. So, what do we have here? We have 6 lakh. So, total number of pages that can be made is 6 lakh papers. pages can be made. Now, look at the other part of the question. How many notebooks of 200 pages? So we're going to make notebooks and each notebook will have 200 pages. So this we have this many pages and we're going to make notebooks out of this. So what's the next statement? In one book, how many pages are there? According to the question, there are 200 pages in one notebook. So number of books that can be made with 6 lakh pages is what we're going to see now. So how do we do that? We divide 6 lakh by 200. So we have to do this division. Divide 6 lakh by 200. Now there are different ways of doing division. You can do long division. You can do short division. You can also do cancelling. So let's try cancelling first. So 6 lakh divided by 200. Okay. So now what we can do is we can cancel the zeros. So we have one on top, one down. So now it is simply 6,000 divided by 2. So 2, 3s are 6, isn't it? So add these zeros, 1, 2, and 3. So 3,000 is your answer. So number of books that can be made with 6 lakh pages is 3,000. So we've got our answer here as 3. So, 3,000 notebooks can be made and this is our final answer. Question 5, add. We have three numbers and we simply have to add them, but we have to remember to arrange them properly. So, let's begin. So, the first number is 1,76,209. So, let's arrange them separately. Then we have 4,50,923. Then we have 44 lakh. So let's be careful. So that is 44,83,947. So now let's add 9 plus 3 is 12. 12 plus 7 is 19. Carry 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 4 is 7. Then we have 2 plus 9 is 11. 11 plus 9 is 20. Carry 2. 
6 plus 2 is 8, 8 plus 3 is 11, carry 1. 7 plus 1 is 8, 8 plus 5 is 13, 13 plus 8 is 21, carry 2. 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 4 is 11, carry 1, 4 plus 1 is 5. So this is our number. Now let's place commas in the right places. Ones, tens, hundreds, comma, thousands, ten thousands, comma. Now we can read a number. A number is 51,11,079. Question 6. A cricket player has scored 7,849 runs so far in test matches. He wishes to complete 10,000 runs. How many more runs does he need? Okay, so let's begin. So, what are the runs scored by a cricket player? 7,849. So, let's write down everything that's given to us in the question. Now, what else have they told us? That he wishes to complete 10,000 runs. So, runs he wishes to complete? 10,000 is how much he wants to complete. Now, Runs required to complete that. That is our question. Now, how many more runs does he need? He has already scored 7,849, but his aim is to score 10,000. Now, how many more runs does he need to reach 10,000? So, how do we do that? We subtract. We say 10,000 minus 7,849. So, let's do that subtraction. 10,000 runs is what he wants to score. But he's already scored 7,849. Now, we'll subtract the two to find out how many more runs he needs to reach his goal. So, here we're going to borrow all the way from here. So, this is 10, 9, then again 9, and then 9, and the last one is 10. Now, 10 minus 9 is 1, 9 minus 4 is 5. 9 minus 8 is 1 and 9 minus 7 is 2. So he needs 2,151 runs more to reach his goal. So what? how many runs does he need? He needs 2,151 runs to reach his goal of scoring 10,000 runs. Question 7. In an election, election is when you have many candidates uh, standing for this election and they get votes. So, in an election, two candidates are there. They are called A and B. And these are the only contestants. There's no one else. It's only A and B. Now, if candidate A scored 9,32,567 votes and candidate B scored 9,235 votes, by how much margin did A win or lose the election? So, first, let's write down what's given to us to understand this better. Number of votes candidate A secured. How many votes did candidate A get? 9,32,567. So A got so many votes. Now, how many votes did B get? B got 9,235 votes. Now, looking at this, you can clearly say that A has won the election, isn't it? So here they are saying by how much margin did A win or lose the election. So since A has scored more, A has won the election. See A has scored 9,32,000 whereas B is 9 lakh only with 235. So 32,000 is a bigger number here compared to the zeros. So we know that candidate A has won the election. Now we need to know by how much, how much more, how many more votes did candidate A get. So, the margin by which candidate A won the election, now we have to subtract the two. So, we have 9,32,567 minus 9 lakh. So, when we subtract these, 235, now we will know by how much A won the vote, election, won the election. So, 7 minus 5 is 2, 6 minus 3 is 3. 5 minus 2 is 3, then we have 2 and 3. So from this we can make out that A won the election by 32,332 votes. So the margin by which candidate A won the election is 32,332.
32. This many votes. Question 8. Find the difference. Difference means you need to subtract between the largest and the smallest five digit numbers that can be formed using these digits without repeating any digit. Okay, so let's begin. So the largest five digit number formed using these digits. So let's form the largest five digit number starting with the largest number that is 6, then we have 5, then 3, 2 and 1. So that is 65,321. The smallest will be the reverse order. 1, 2, 3, 5 and 6. Now the difference is when you subtract these two. So now let's subtract 1 minus 6 you can't do. So let's borrow from here. So that is 11 minus 6 is 5. Then again, we need to borrow 1 minus 5. You can't do, so we're going to borrow from here. 11 minus 5 is 6. Then again, we need to borrow 2 minus 3. We can't do, so we take from there. So this is 12 minus 3, which is 9. 4 minus 2 is 2. 6 minus 1 is 5. So here we have 52,965. So the difference is 52,000. 965. Question 9. A machine manufactures 5,782 screws every day. If we round off the number of screws produced in a day to the nearest thousand, then approximately how many screws will the machine manufacture in the month of April? So let's follow the question slowly. A machine manufactures so many screws every day. So let's write that down. Number of screws made in a day, 5,782. Then the question says, if we round off the number of screws produced in a day to the nearest thousand, that means we have to round this number to the nearest thousand. So let's do that. So 5,782 to the nearest thousand. So since it is thousand, we have to underline the digit in the thousands place, which is five. And then look at the digit to its right. It's more than 5. So the underlying digit will change to 6. So that becomes 6. And all the other digits we're going to replace with zeros. 6,000. So we've done that. Now the next question is, how many screws will the ma machine manufacture in the month of April? Now we need to be careful. April has 30 days. We need to keep that in mind. So now let's do that. So number of screws made in April in 30 days will be 6,000 multiplied by 30. Now this multiplication is very easy. Whenever you have numbers ending in zeros, the multiplication becomes easy. We just multiply 6 into 3. 6 threes are 18 and then we count the number of zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 4 zeros, so let's write that down. 1, 2, 3. 3, 4. Now let's place the commas. 1 stands hundreds commas. Thousands ten thousands comma. So 1 lakh 80,000 screws. So 1 lakh 80,000 screws approximately. Okay, that's not the correct number. Approximately 1 lakh 80,000 screws were made in April. So children, with this we'll stop for now. In the next video, we will continue with the remaining questions. Thank you, children.